if Jesus won forgiveness from sin, victory over death and the devil, if he won that for us on the cross, why do we need to be baptized? The answer to this is that it is part of the means of grace. And the illustration I love to use with this is to say, if you want to dig a hole in your backyard today, how are you going to dig that hole? And there's lots of answers to that question, right? You can dig a hole with a shovel. You can use a spoon if you really want some painful labor. If you get creative, you could use a stick of dynamite. Or maybe just send your dog out into the backyard and let him do his thing. Right? There are lots of ways to dig that hole to accomplish the work. And whichever one you choose is the means by which you dig the hole. This is why we talk about means of grace, grace being God's gifts. What are the means by which God chooses to share his gifts with us? And we talk about word and sacrament, the hearing of the word, the proclaimed word, a beautiful thing, and then baptism. We can also count absolution and the Lord's Supper. In the gift of baptism, Jesus takes what is his and he makes it yours. Jesus pours out his Holy Spirit upon you, the Spirit whose task it is to create faith in your heart, to lead you to repentance, to strengthen you in your faith daily. That gift is given in the waters of baptism. Yes, it's true, Jesus died on the cross to forgive your sins, and indeed, forgive all sins of all people of all time. Baptism applies that gift to you. It makes it yours. It puts it into your hands, literally into your heart, into your body, as you are now a child of God, adopted, brought into the family. It's a wonderful gift. We thank God for the means of grace through which he chooses to save and to continue to work in this fallen world.